Greetings everyone, I am Lotus Prince, and for this Let's Play, we are going to tackle Bloodborne, as well as its DLC. Bloodborne is a very, very, very good game. I enjoy it quite a bit. It's in the Soulsborne series, and the reason that the Born is part of it, no longer just called the Souls series. This game plays very similarly to Souls games, but it's more of a, arguably a horror title. We are a hunter who has entered the town of Yarnum on the night of the hunt. And what a night, what a hunt. Hunters are everywhere. Beasts are everywhere. Horror is everywhere. And we very soon see that there is more to this town and night of the hunt than may at first be apparent. In fact, we find out that there's more to the whole place we're in than may seem apparent. This game takes us to a whole new world of possibilities, and we may or may not be mentally prepared to witness such things. But you know what? We're going to do our best. We're going to investigate the DLC to see what potentially led to this mess, and we are going to carve our way to victory with our trusty saw blade. It won't be pretty, but it will be fun. Let's go crazy. Well, this seems to set up the mood nicely, doesn't it? My icons have seen better days. But, with this kind of backdrop, I think it's uh, high time we went into uh, Berserk. I, I mean, never mind, that, that looks a lot like the brand. Uh, uh, what I meant was, let's go to Bloodborne. Japan Studio, like you'd expect. From software, like you'd expect. You know, I'm very happy that they give me the option right off the bat, because in Dark Souls 2, it constantly, whenever I tried turning the game on, it constantly tried signing me online, so I would have to keep telling it, no, no, I don't want this. Here, I'll just play offline. There you go. System. Controls. Good, good. I'll see about this later. I think we're good. Basic controls. Environment. Subtitles, yes. HUD. Music a bit lower. Voice a bit up. I was wondering if... <laughs> The, the singing would be affected by this. Maybe not. Brightness. Let's make that happen. This is a pretty glorious beginning. Language, well, I think we're good with English. New game, let's go! Uh, well... I, I, I've already been here, but... Uh, new game, let's go! I, 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 I've already been here. New game, let's go! Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract.
That's way quicker than Dark Souls 2's character creator. Well, name. Let's do this the way I'm accustomed to. Okay. Age. Mature. Aged. What does mature look like anyway? Does that just not affect me at all? Uh, okay. Origin. Ordinary happy upbringing. Average attributes. Lone survivor of lost Hamlet. High life essence and vigor. Yeah, you just start with Blood Echoes is experience, which I find interesting. Everybody starts at level 10, except for Waste of Skin, which is level 4. So, like Dark Souls 2, there is no true level 1, like in Dark Souls 1. But it's just curious that you start with varying amounts of XP that you can spend. Troubled childhood, suffered misfortune in youth, highly resilient as a result. Violent past, terribly violent past. Rash, but stronger for it. Born a professional, born specialist, fit for sleuthing or academia. Military veteran, experienced in war, a soldier with strength and skill. Noble scion, scion to a respectable line with faith in your pedigree. Cruel fate, faced terrible hardships, but now confident in your purpose. And waste of skin, you are nothing, talentless. You shouldn't have been born. God damn. What I find interesting here is that unlike the Souls games, it doesn't seem to affect your starting inventory. I think in Bloodborne you universally start with nothing, and you get your basic weapons very quickly, and everyone chooses from the same. So I don't have to worry about whether I start with fire bombs or some weird item that I don't know the use of, like the pendant or something. It's all about the stats. So Vitality is nice, but I also like Endurance. It's like one of the most important stats in the Soulsborne series. But then again, there's Strength and Skill. I don't know what Blood Tinge or Arcane are. Violent Past has quite the strength, not much skill. Endurance is acceptable. But then again, Troubled Childhood has the real endurance, but lower strength. Violent Pass looks pretty good right now. High skill. Not so much on the strength. 14 and 10. Damn. And reasonable endurance. Well, no, nah, the lowest endurance is 9 and 8, so 10 isn't great. But I might want to go with the military veteran. Vitality isn't so hot either, though. No, nah, I think I'll go with the military veteran. Again, it's a shame that I'm not a... Oh, well, there's the appearance. Gender, age, again, like, appearance my ass. Can I use, I can zoom, let's do this. If only I could zoom even slower. It looks like age does affect the face a little bit. Eh. Do I get to test this? Are you kidding me? Oh, sample. Hmm. And maybe I'll go with the mature. Okay, build. Slim. Not really doing much here. Very slim. Oh. Oh, they are moving it around a little bit. Okay. Large head. That's what I want. Scale adjustment. Head, chest. I, I don't care. Base skin color. Oh, that's interesting. Various swatches. I might want to go for the straight up vampire look, although blue's kind of cool. Very mottled, it looks like, especially with this. 
I guess it covers everyone. I don't know, like, the, the pure white look or the light blue look might look pretty cool in a game like this, where I look like a friggin' vampire. That blue look is interesting, though. It's such an ethereal look. Well, that's the base, and then there's deeper levels I can go to. Face details. Ah, hair. There we go. Hair color, please. This is if I just the red. Is there a way I can go faster? Yes, there is, actually. I'll go for my Dark Souls 2 look. What if I go the other way? Oh, boy. That is a hard no. Purple could be kind of interesting, but I still think I'll go with the red. And the hair itself. Wow. Uh, I'm thinking no. Eh. Is there like a... Like an overly edgy vampire hunter look? Eh. Maybe... Let's try that on for size. Uh, brow? I don't really care. Beard? I'm probably not gonna go with one of these. But I'll take a look. Sideburns. Yeah, no. Beard color, eyelashes. Oh, it just occurs to me that when I selected new hair, everything went out the window. Let's bring that back. Yeah, let's go with that. And I better do the brow color as well. Oh, it's because I backed out of it. That's my problem. There we go. Eye color? Pupils. There we go. I actually really like this. I can be, um, I don't know if this is the right word, but heterochromatic. Is that right? But the point is I can have eyes of different colors if I so desire. There we go. I can even adjust pupil size. That's interesting. Color of pupils, if I want to just do both. Get a chilling look. Actually, can I do like a... I wonder, can I do like an icy blue? Purple's decent, but... Yeah, we're, we're getting there. That's not bad. Like a chilling icy blue. Nah, I want a little more of that green. Get that cold as ice look. Yeah, that might do. Face shape, eh. Tattoo mark or glasses? I don't think I'm gonna go over the tattoo mark on this, but... What, what even, is this just nothing? Oh, there it is, you can barely see it. Like a little cut on the cheek. Snake bite or something. Cross, that is hard to see. These are extremely subtle. Oh, but I could tweak the tattoo mark. Maybe that's what it's all about. What if I get the anime cut? Position, angle, expansion. I say, I say. But, uh, and I can change the color as well. I'll pass. Glasses, though? Oh, jeez. A single, like... I guess it's a monocle, but it has a bridge like glasses. Wow, mad scientist look. This one's actually kind of tempting. I wonder if you could unlock more glasses, though. The thing is, with glasses like these, it makes me think of Karasu from Yu Yu Hakusho, and he had long black hair. So this is throwing me off. 
And the glasses can be red or whatever color. Mm. Maybe. Too bad I can't do anything about lenses, though, other than jet black. Well, then again... Ah, but they're not on the nose where I'd like. This is lower. This is, like, way up here. Maybe, maybe I'll do this anyway, though. Oh, get out! That's awesome! I will forget my pupil color, apparently. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's go with that. Pupils, fe features, was there anything on features? Aesthetic? Oh, masculine versus feminine. Form emphasis. I say. Yeah, let's just bring that back toward the middle ish. Young and aged. Alright, alright. Okay. Save the favorites. I like that if I want to go again. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's decent. Maybe, eh, maybe I'll darken my hair a little bit. Face. Was it face details? Yeah. Let's darken the hair a little bit. I don't know if I want to go jet black. Yeah, alright. Okay. Let's go. Finalized contract with an S. Kirkhammer. Very different from when Bloodborne first came out, where the only loading screen ever was Bloodborne. They went with the uh, the Dark Souls style, where they give you items and weapons this time around. I'll take it. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> That's creepy already. Chuckles to himself as he gives you a transfusion. You're gonna see some weird stuff, don't worry about it. That's awful. Don't worry, it's just a bad dream. I'm gonna wake up any second now. Well, whatever that was, I guess that's what arcane can be. Maybe this game does have kind of spells. You know, I think I prefer the werewolf. Hey, it's a Rule of Rose enemy. Oh, that is a hard pass, man. No, thank you. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. Ugh, that's horrible. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Yosefka's clinic? Look at my beautiful red hair, or slightly red hair. It's perfect. Okay, so controls. Also, how do I... All right, so this was the touchpad that got me here. Start, inventory status, attire. Okay, this seems to be a pretty efficient system. Can I, yes, black hood. Hood worn upon awakening to the nightmare of blood and beasts. 
Perhaps its wearer had to stay out of sight and travel by cover of darkness. Without memory, who will ever know? It looks like I'm still separated by type of clothing, like in Dark Souls 2. Foreign garb. Clothing worn upon a whim of a not typical clothing for Yarnum. Perhaps it is of foreign origin. It is said, after all, the traveler came to Yarnum from afar. Without memory, who will ever know? Sullied bandage. A bandage worn upon awakening. Terribly worn and unsanitary. A faint memory recalls blood administration involving the transfusion of unknown blood. Not long after, the nightmare began. Foreign trousers. We've already read this. Oh wait, toggle stats it said? Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. Okay. We also have, that's just system. Fine. Status. Carol rune effect, I don't know what that is. And we have inventory. Hunter's mark. Sacrifice all blood echoes and awaken anew. So that's basically the dark sign. When you die, you lose your stuff, your, your experience, but you can go pick it up later. Dangling, upside-down rune etched in one's mind. Symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes, but awakens afresh, as if it were all just a bad dream. What? Right-hand weapon? I got nothing. Left-hand weapon? Oh, okay, this is how I can more efficiently look at my stuff. Good to know. Blood gems, carol runes... Chalices. More on all that stuff later, I'm sure. Okay. Do I have gestures in this game? I'm actually curious. And what does this mean? Is this like a quick slot? I don't know. Any case, I can walk. How do I? Do I still run the same way? Okay, I hold circle to run. X investigates. Square would use an item, but I don't have one. And triangle? What? Oh, that's interesting. So, L1, or excuse me, L2 and R2 are punches. L1 goes into double stance. Whoa, jeez. So it's not triangle, but L1 that puts me into two-handed or one-handed. What's R1, then? A chop? So light, heavy? Damn. Do I not have a, a light left attack? Okay. I still have a roll, like Dark Souls roll. Handwritten scrawl, seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Fair enough. And D-pad, I don't have anything. What the? Well, I wasted that. Oh, I suppose that was, um... Uh, a blood vial, which heals me a little bit. Well, there are, there'll be more of those. Guess we'll go through. Classic Dark Souls door opening. Gorgeous atmosphere. They're the creatures from the dream. R1 attack. Fair enough. Maybe I should have just done this first, huh? R3 is lock on, like before. I'm familiar with that. Damn, that's cool. Mm. 
I guess there are no more messengers. Alright. It's really dark. And I hear terrifying things. I'll be fine, don't worry. Are there any more tutorial dudes? Oh my god, I don't stand a chance. With my bare hands? Also, I gotta see something. Two-handed. I can still roll like normal. Goodness gracious. This guy's gonna destroy me. And it looks like whatever he's eating is still moving. That's awful. And he doesn't... He's not doing the eating sounds anymore. I think he's ready for me. Which is the worst. Okay. Nope. It's fine. Oh, Jesus. Easy. Easy every time. Boom. Sit down. Too easy. Oh, God. What a freaking nightmare. I mean, literally. I am going to have to get used to this. Also, I'm pretty much supposed to die on this guy. And in fact, I'm better off if I do. But I still want to test this out. My skills. My skills to pay the bills. With my heavy attack doing four damage. I'm not going to combo this guy because I don't think I'll survive the attempt. I did not survive the attempt. That's okay, though. This was, uh, this was the obligatory... <laughs> you you died, enemy. Don't worry, everybody. Everything's fine. This is actually a very clever thing that the uh, Bloodborne is doing. I haven't seen this since Demon Souls, where you have to die to go into the Nexus. I got my own little hub now. This looks pretty gorgeous. Hunter's Dream. Gorgeous uh, giant moon out there. Bath Messenger. Trade in blood echoes with messengers to buy and sell items. Surprise, surprise, blood echoes are experience and currency, just like before. What can I buy? Blood vial for health. I don't have any blood echoes, though. Quicksilver bullets. Actually, can I do the description? Yes, blood vial. Special blood used in ministration. Restores HP. These are my Estus flasks. Once a patient has their blood ministered, a unique but common treatment in Yarnum, successive infusions recall the first and are all the more invigorating for it. No surprise that most Yarnumites are heavy users of blood. Quicksilver bullets. Special bullets used with hunter firearms. Ordinary bullets have no effect on beasts, and so quicksilver bullets, fused with the wielder's own blood, must be employed. The strength of quicksilver bullets depends greatly upon the wielder's blood tinge. Oh, that's what that is. Now, Bloodborne works a little bit differently from Dark Souls. You don't parry with your shield and then repost with your weapon. You counter with your gun. So when an enemy attacks you, you shoot him, and that should stun him, at which point you could do a critical hit. But this means that you have a limited number of counter attempts, because it's bullets. So the effectiveness of your counters is based on, apparently, your blood tinge. Molotov Cocktail explodes in raging flames when thrown against an object. One of the oldest hunter tools available in the workshop. Since the tragedy that struck old Yarnum, fire has become a staple in beast hunts, and is thought to cleanse impurity. Certain types of beasts have an abnormal fear of flame. And finally, Pebble. 
Small pebbles found throughout Yarnum can be thrown at foes. Quite thrilling. I imagine it's good for distraction or for, uh, actually probably for aggro, just to get one guy over. And I could buy Hunter Garb. Hunter Cap. Ludwig, the first hunter of the Healing Church, once recruited Yarnamites to serve as hunters. This hunter's attire was made for new recruits and has excellent straightforward defense. This is not nearly enough, though, to allow an ordinary man to stand any real chance against the beasts. Same thing, so trousers, gloves, garb. Okay. And that's it. So the most basic things I can buy. Sell items, I don't think I have. I have my equipment, but give me a friggin' break. Ugh. Yarnum Headstone. Awaken at a selected location in Yarnum. I can go back to where I came from. This this really is my nexus. I can just teleport to various locations from here. I'll get that. An abandoned doll. I wonder, can I like I don't think I can go first person or anything. Alright. No place to awaken. This is important, though. Accept gift from messengers. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with a right hand and employed in beast hunting. So I may choose free the saw cleaver, the hunter axe, or the threaded cane. Saw cleaver. One of the trick weapons of the workshop, commonly used in the hunting business. This saw, effective at drawing the blood of beasts, transforms into a long cleaver that makes use of centrifugal force. The saw, with its set of bloodletting teeth, has become a symbol of the hunt, and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. It's called a trick weapon because it transforms. You can see that the blade can fold out, giving it a longer reach. Hunter Axe. One of the trick weapons of the world blah, 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 retains the qualities of an axe, but offers a wider palette of attacks by transforming, boasts a heavy, blunt attack, leading to high rally potential. No matter their pasts, beasts are no more than beasts. Some choose this axe to play the part of executioner. Threaded cane. Sufficiently deadly as a rigid bladed cane, but also serves as a whip when its blade is split into many. Concealing the weapon inside the cane and flogging the beasts with the whip is partly an act of ceremony, an attempt to demonstrate to oneself that the bloodlust of the hunt will never encroach upon the soul. This is something where if I break out the blades, it's kind of a whip. Uh, it says it right there, but it gives me a wide reach. It's good for crowd situations. I am... I'm always stuck between whether I should use the cleaver or the cane. The cleaver hurts more, and it's basically a sword. The cane is a whip. Not as effective for raw damage, but it hurts things around it. I think I'll just go with the traditional saw. Except gift. A firearm. They're wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Pistol, Blunderbuss. Pistol made at the workshop for hunters stalking beasts. Hunter firearms are specially crafted to employ quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood, boosting damage against beasts. The pistol is a quicker draw than the Blunderbuss, allowing for speedier responses to attacks. The impact of this highly effective weapon counters beasts' swift movements and is widespread is nigh on guaranteed to hit the mark. So, less of a quick draw, but it's a freaking blunderbuss. It hits hard. That's tough, because I like the pistol for its precision. I can quickly break it out when necessary, but... I might actually go with the blunderbuss on this one. Curious that the left hand weapons are on the right. That's really odd. There. And now I can counter. And I have 10 quicksilver bullets. Except gift again. 
a notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds. I will not be doing that, but that's the 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 signs you can leave in Dark Souls. Thank you. And they're gone. Can I take a look at that in my inventory? Yes. Messengers are inhabitants of the dream who revere the brave hunters. Use them to send messages to other worlds. Leave notes with messengers, read the notes left to messengers in other worlds, and rate notes to reach out to hunters across planes of existence. Online only. So, irrelevant to me. Now, as for the weapon, R1 is attack. And... L1, please don't mess this up. Yeah, it's the transform, so you can see it's open. R1, R1, R2. Now, I'm not experienced with these weapons, but I know that there's a way you can combo them, like R1, R1, L1 works, it actually worked. Yeah, so there, there are shenanigans like that. R1, R1, L1, R1. It, you can learn to get good with these weapons. I'll take a little bit of a look around this other place, but I don't think there's much I can do in the dream. A short ritual root chalice is required to conduct a ritual. Holy chalice. Holy again. I think we get the idea. A lot of holy. This bath appears linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. Yeah, it says buy with insight. We'll get to that concept later. This door doesn't even say locked, it just says closed. And you? Yeah. Also, am I allowed to enter the door past the messengers? No, I really can't do anything here. No place to awaken. No place, and of course I can go here, but what's outside? Actually, square is used, down on the d-pad is toggle. Left and right is switch weapons. Right, once again, I can have two weapons on either hand. Emergency quicksilver bullet replenishment. Use with caution as it drains HP. Oh, that's what that was when I screwed up earlier. Yeah, I suddenly lost health and didn't know why. So I can get Quicksilver bullets in a pinch, but I have to pay with blood. Interesting. It's a clever mechanic. This is also closed. I do very much like the idea of opening up the world as you go, though. I love that. I just love that effect in, in games. L1 transforms, or transforms attacks. R2 is strong. Oh, I can charge. Okay. I wonder. I can't double charge. Hitting an enemy from behind with charge causes them to stagger. Fair enough. Shooting your fire will interrupt and stagger when properly timed. R1, when next to stagger, is visceral. This is one thing about Bloodborne. Visceral attacks are super cool looking, but I think there's only one visceral attack in the entire game. I don't believe it changes with what weapon you're using. After taking damage from an enemy, there's a period of time in which attacking the enemy in return will restore a certain amount of your HP. Yeah, this is very different. This encourages the savage nature of the beast. If you're hurt, instead of running away and trying to heal, you're actually encouraged to attack more, so you can recover a little bit of HP. Up to a point. So this, this game is very much about aggression. Receive assistance from the Hunters of Other Worlds by using the Beckoning Belt. I believe it's an online thing. Assist them with a small Resonant Belt. I think we're done here.
I'll give the actual level a shot, but I expect to die. Let's go to the sick room. I mean, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, they start you off hard. But Bloodborne's first level is very hard. We'll see how it works. That's a lot of notes. And then there's this. So now I have a lamp. I can return to the dream. This is the bonfire. But again, it's Demon Souls. I don't just rest here. I go back to the Nexus to do the resting stuff. R1 attacks. Ah. Tap it to backstep or tap it to quick step. So, ha. Huh? Ha. Huh? It says quick step, but all I'm doing is rolling. I don't know. Options. Well, I know about that already. Press start. L2 is shoot. And R3 is lock. And we've done that already. Okay, well now I should be a little more prepared from before. But this time, before I run into Mr. Werewolf, I'm gonna go back upstairs. Are you... out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us. For our town, but I'm sorry. I can't see her. Please. This is all that I can do. Yosefka's blood vial. Now, go. And good hunting. So, what is Yosefka's blood vial? Invigorates the senses, restoring a larger amount of HP. It's a superior blood vial. Blood vial acquired from the lady doctor at Yosefka's clinic. This refined blood, highly invigorating, restores a larger amount of HP. This rare blood vial is a product of a slow and careful refinement process, likely devised by the doctor herself. I believe the gimmick with this is that I can get as many of these... Well, I can come to her for one as many times as I want, but I can't already have one on me, so she'll give me one if I have zero. This time I'll go ahead and take out the werewolf. The thing is, if I had killed the werewolf before, I would be going into the the first level with my fists. And that's a disaster. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with weapons. Hopefully do a little better. Let's try some transformation tricks. Got him. Three blood vials. Can I equip blood vials? Like consumables, it just says Yosefka's blood vial, but is there a way for me to just there has to be a way for me to quickly use blood vials. Would Square do it if I pressed it right now? Because it does appear to be the thing that's up top. I don't know. Anyway, I got him. Man, this is cool. Look at those cool effects. I would still like some light though, it's freaking dark. No, I don't know. This is all you had, so... Havoc physics! I couldn't really do that so much in Dark Souls 2. It was more of a Dark Souls 1 thing. Anyway. Triangle restores HP. That's what it is. So I never have to equip the blood vials, it's just triangle. This is going to weird me out, because I'm used to square doing that, but then again, square is just some item now. So I'm going to have to get used to the new layout. Two more blood vials. Wait. 
Well, here we go. Outside. I don't know if I really want to go outside, though. It's scary. There's definitely stuff happening out there. Oh, ten more Quicksilver bullets. And now my number's blue. Does that imply that I'm maxed? Look at my freaking blunderbuss. That thing's sweet. But, uh... I get the feeling I'm in... Major, major trouble. Oh boy. Wow. Welcome to Central Yarnum. Just a hat. Well. Wow. Which way do I go first? I guess this way. There's a guy just up there. Look at this place. It's like I'm in on Orlando already. I thought I had to earn that. Four more blood vials. One thing about blood vials is that in Dark Souls, I can always die and then get all my Estus flasks back. I don't believe that's the case with blood vials. If I'm fighting a bunch of dudes and I use up five blood vials and I die, I am I am down five blood vials. This guy I got a Molotov from him. I could get used to this charge attack. I, I'm okay with this. Gorgeous carriage. Two more blood vials. Damn. That's some hefty ladder. Whoa, hi. Oh, I just one shot at him? I, I really gotta get used to the concept of being completely unable to block. But blocking is not a thing. At best, I can counter. Like, I'm, I swear, I'm gonna press L1 and be like, I'm ready for you, and then my weapon transforms and I don't actually do anything. Oh, really? Six Molotovs? I get the feeling I should cherish these. Do we have a Dark Souls 2 situation? We do. And we could slide down. Cool. I can fast climb and fast slide. Very good. It doesn't even cost me stamina to fast climb. Whoa. Where have I heard that before? That- oh, that sounds really familiar. I guess kind of like the sort of zombie plague guys in the swamp and demon souls. The ones that coughed up poison. Those guys really 
it felt like they wanted to die. And wow, this coffin is very chained up. Is Dio in there? No, never mind. It's not clearly labeled Dio. Well, there's the first bonfire that I consciously lit. This lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. I, again, this does kind of bug me. I can't go back to the other lamp. I can go to the hunter's dream and then to the other lamp. So, as, as much as Bloodborne is arguably the best game in the entire Soulsborne series, it's like loading screen central. Speaking of central, we've made it to central Yarnum, and I got the blood of my enemies on me already. Damn. This is a pretty reasonable start. For now, though, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a reasonable amount of progress today. We started the game, we ended up in the sick room, got killed immediately, but that's really supposed to happen, got our bearings, got our equipment, and now we are in Central Yarnum, where the true game begins. This game is creepy, and it's only going to get crazier from here. Just you wait. We've only just begun. Until next time, everyone.